Cody, a fine individual performance, fine team performance as well. Great afternoon for you at Twerton Park today, wasn't it? Yeah, massive. Um, yeah, a good crowd in. It just had a real feel-good factor from start to finish. I think momentum from Tuesday night just took us straight into today. We sort of arrived and you, you know, you're, you're here as well early and you sort of feel it around the group that we're going to go and perform and at the moment it seems to be the sort of case and the gaffers touched on it a little bit in, in terms of after the game about what the boys are doing away from the club and what they're doing to look after themselves and at the moment everyone's doing the right things and keeping themselves in, in tip top condition and to go out and perform like that um, yeah it was special to be a part of. Yeah, you're doing the right things, your, all your goals. The uh, first one uh, from a corner, is that something you'd worked on? Yeah, we do we do do bits and we, we have got some set pieces and, and what have you, but um, I was just really thinking about being in a different area to someone else, as simple as it sounds. Uh, Jim's picked on it a couple of times in, in terms of me and uh, a couple of boys making the same area. So it was just a case of going in a different area and actually it was a really tricky finish. Um, nine times out of 10, probably at training, I'm missing them. But yeah, just had to watch it all the way. George put it in a great area and then, and then yeah, yeah, got good contact. I think the main thing there was just contacting the ball as, as, as calm as you can. And then really from there, I always sort of think when we go a goal up, I don't know what the statistics are, but going a goal up, it feels like we're always sort of on, on the upper hand and it always feels like we're in control. So it was a, it was a all re really well-rounded performance. Yeah, and then you score a second so swiftly after not stuffing at them a little bit again you're grateful to Jordan Thomas for winning the, the clearest of penalties which uh, you always look like converting though. yeah I mean Jordan's got that any we've got that this year with with sort of wingers who are going to be tricky and and you know make defenders make mistakes and that's what they do they sort of stand them up and then and jink left and right and and everyone sort of seems to, to have that whether it's you and or Elwes on the left or, or whether it's JT on the right and when you get in and around that box you know that it's going to be tricky for them to to get there and and yeah same sort of same sort of um areas and sort of same sort of thing going over my head in terms of penalties you watch me do it time and time again now so something we'll practice on something that we sort of go over me and Scotty on a weekly basis and yeah thankfully put it away and then you got the second penalty late on, although it looked like Scott Wilson had maybe got another goal to his name this season. It was all very confusing. You, you were in and around it. Do you know what was going yeah, on? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know the rule. I still don't actually know the rules around that because obviously the, the goal went in, but it, it was handball or whatever on the line, so the referees brought it back. But I, I don't know if, if there is rules that allow that to play on and then be a goal I don't think anyone's sure but um, yeah Scott is obviously disappointed because he's had two two, dis uh, two goals disallowed today but you know yeah exactly the same so we managed to come out on top and, and get another goal um, and again we just we just seem to look so composed in the game sort of running out of steam for them and they weren't able to bring anything back you must be gutted actually there's no game on Tuesday it's supposed to be slider in the FA Cup a week's break before you play back into the FA Trophy it feels like you just want to carry on the momentum right at the moment play as often as you can <laughs> yeah, yeah literally because yeah, like I said everyone's doing the right things away from away from the club and yeah disappointing that the game's off on Tuesday but um, to come back on home soil have another week's rest um, get some training into their legs over the week and go over things and, and obviously look at look at a team that are in a you know a division below or a couple of divisions below and we, we don't know a lot about so we'll need to do our homework on them I'm sure we'll do that on Thursday and, and go over what they're what they're about and it's a new game plan a new week um, and then we go from there and hopefully we can have a good run in that cup our uh, final one, uh, Alex Fletcher, of course, departed a couple of days ago. You've travelled back uh, back and forth between Devon and Somerset many a time. I know you're going to stay in touch. It's going to be strange not having him around, isn't it? Yeah, really strange. It, you know, two and a half years or whatever, we've we've travelled up and up and back, um, you know, three times a week. He's, uh, you say stay in touch. I've actually tried ringing him twice this week and he's not answered his phone. So that, that says it all. But he, he goes rogue and does his own thing. But no, we, you know, we wish him all the best as a car school. The club wishes him all the best um, in terms of I mean, I think it's it's right for him to now go and go and play um, and to see sort of what what his next steps are. Obviously, he's just just recently signed for Western as well, so we wish him all the best. Um, everyone, everyone, you know, all around the club, all the fans, and everyone's going to wish him all the best. And we hope to see him back to his best at, at some point, wherever that may be. It might take a little bit of time, which we all, which we all know. But thankfully, he's he's with us. He's you know doing everything to get back to his best. So we wish him wish him and his family and everyone all the best. And Car School. Lost, lost a big member. And we look forward to your 100th appearance next week and uh, thanks for those words this evening. Cheers, Cody. Cheers.